Here we are at our oil uh, train station setup. This is, uh, I've got two 300 nodes of oil going into six stations overall. Uh, and what I want to demonstrate and explain here is uh, the how to determine how many freight carriages to use in terms of uh, transporting oil and why you would need to determine that. The main thing here is that this train to get back to my base, do a lo uh, an unload operation, return back to here will take 15 minutes. It's Yes, it's a long time, but that's just how it is in, in, with this setup that I've done. So with 15 minutes in mind, uh, and let's assume that 600 oil per minute is what we are wanting to, our end production is going to consume the maximum 600 oil per minute. So our 600 oil per minute times 15 minutes means that we have 9,000 oil per, uh, over 15 minutes we have to have 9,000 oil available to us at the production side back at base to be able to um, to 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 have that production run for that whole 15 minute cycle. So we need to transport 9,000 oil in the train. Uh, how do we determine that? When we look at the build menu at our freight car, has 1,600 meters cubed capacity. So every freight car can carry that much fluid. With that in mind, our value of 9,000 divides 1,600 means that there's 5.625 freight carriages required to sustain that much oil in a 15 minute trip. Now, you can't have 0.625 carriages, so that's why we have six fluid platforms all together. Uh, and that will mean, uh, and the, the fluid platforms themselves actually hold 2,400 meters cubed, uh, but the carriages only can transport 1,600. So one train, six carriages. I've got another engine at the other end to make sure it can help with the uh, the, tra the time, the travel time, and that. Um, we will come back at the other location and we'll uh, show you how that's set up and we will then do some tests to demonstrate and to prove that it actually works. Uh, but that's the first part that we wanted to set the scene before we continue next. Here we go folks, this is the arriving oil train and it's dropping off the first load of oil so I'm starting my timer now what we've done here is the um, on the output of every one of these buffers that I explained earlier where I've got both buffers connected to one pipe. I've set the valve at 100 flow rate and they're connected to an industrial buffer below each one. That way we can simulate 15 minutes of load of fluids being extracted. So we can see already, let's have a look at the station. It had the 1600, it's already being drained and you can see the fluid coming out it's not going to come out at a fast rate because this valve is limiting how much is coming out and you can see these will these are buffering up and flowing down so we should not exhaust this supply until 15 minutes has passed. That's what we're going to find out. Let's hope that is the case. 
otherwise yeah but these will fill up so it might, it might look like a lot of fluid is being taken out right now but literally half of the load is automatically going to be put into these two and then slowly trickled down into here so we can see already it's only received a hundred so a minute's passed since we've uh, done that and that's what my clock says well a bit more than a minute because there was unload time and there's a load time at the other end but my whole round trip time should be 15 minutes so we're gonna wait here and we'll come back and uh, well we're not gonna come back we're gonna wait here you come back oh, and there'll be like a scene update fluid fluid update how much is in the station a hundred left in the station oh, this is hurting me but this is full 600 wait 600 and it's six minutes 52 past it's working everything's as it should be everything's everything's going well so the stations are almost completely empty uh, they are so almost empty that my hand is empty inside the station He's just doing Randy stuff. All right. Oh, this this one's empty. Yeah, they're nearly all empty. All right. So there we go. The stations themselves, are in about seven and a half minutes, have emptied. There's a little bit left in some of them. However. There is still the buffer of fluid in each one remaining. Starting to drop now. So there's still 800 fluid remaining. And there's almost 800 in there, plus there's whatever's in the pipes. Here it comes, here it comes. All right, so. I'm off by one minute roughly. So as soon as it starts loading, I'm going to press stop. Okay, so that was a 16 minute trip. And there is, this is the, this is the interesting bit. It's not until we completely run out of oil in my current scenario right now, we still have oil flowing to our production machines. Everything's working. There goes the train. Look at the oil coming back in and we have success, ladies and gentlemen. We have successfully delivered 600 oil per minute over a 15 minute time period. So to recap how we calculated that, you have 600 oil and the round trip time is 15 minutes. It was actually 16 minutes. So I want to recalculate that just to be actually accurate. So we need in a 15 minute time period, we needed to transport 9,600 oil. So 9,600 oil divided by the 1600 size of the actual uh, freight car is six exact freight cars. So that's what we've done. And then uh, to reiterate, to make that oil properly last the whole time period, each freight platform is receiving a load of 1600 oil over 16 minutes so 100 uh, oil is what we can extract so by putting the valve on our output here we've made sure that that oil is being 
evenly drawn from every freight platform and everything's working nicely. Uh, so there we go.